Good morning, it's Debbie here. I'm just sitting at my desk this morning doing a bunch of stamping and I thought instead of sitting here by myself that I would turn this camera on and bring you with me. So let me flip my camera around and show you what I'm working on. Okay, we're all flipped around and let me give you a little tour of what I've got in front of me here. I've got CJS337, which is just a gorgeous floral plate with all sorts of different florals, full coverage, few little words, lots of greenery, really versatile plate for, for doing floral manis. Um, really, really good too for doing your watercolor painting. Nice outlines for painting inside. There they are on the spec sheet. The how-to, and you've got, of course, your clear so that you can mani plan. So let's stick those over there. And here's what I've been creating. So I thought what we would do is I wanna show you how I did this guy. But they're so pretty. Focus. There we go. Anyway, uh, what am I working on top of? I know that'll be the next thing. So this is Refined, number 553. Really pretty yellow, buttery kind of um, a builder. Yes, it's a builder. And it's a buttery yellow with these really beautiful flakies inside that are, they're basically like a rosy gold, more of a gold, I would say, fleck, like a foil fleck. Yeah, really great base. I love it when there's a, a little fleck like that in a base. It just gives you a little bit of movement, a little bit of interest in there without, without very much effort at all. So it makes things quick, quick and easy and pretty. Let me grab, I need cotton. Cotton here, I'll have to restock. Give this guy a wipe. Now, the image that I used is right down at the bottom here. So let me reorganize here a little bit. These dark ones. Uh, where is my cotton? This is the cotton that we use. Uh, in Canada, we buy this at Costco. Premium cotton rounds, cosmetic rounds. They're really fantastic. I love them just because they're actually woven on one side and they, I don't know, they're just so sturdy. They're pretty fantastic. All right, sorry. Get organized here, Debbie. Heaven's sake. Now, the image we're going to work on is right down here in this corner just to recreate this guy here. And our outline. So I'm using 127 is the blue for our base color. So we'll get that lifted first. Oh, there's some fuzz in that guy. That we don't need. Let's do that again. It's funny, I saw that one over there. It'll be fine. It'll be totally fine. Just go ahead. No, get rid of the fuzz. Okay, this is quite a large image in a corner. So what I'm gonna do is flatten my scraper. And we still have little lines in there. So let's do that one more time. It's not too bad because I'm coming with um, outlines that are pretty significant. You wouldn't see those lines, but you know me. I like to try and have a perfect lift. And this guy's getting a little on the thick side, but I think we can get him lifted. So let's not waste any time. Flatten that guy out. Now I'm lightening up my pressure a little bit to get rid of those lines. So I wasn't taking out quite as much of the polish when I was scraping. So let's just pop this guy down. I want to do similar to the one that's over there that I'm showing you guys so that we get a similar look. It was just a lot of fun um, adding the greenery in afterwards. So I want to show you how I did that. Let's go ahead and outline this guy first and then we'll add our greenery. So 51. Is our outline color right in behind lift that up right away not going to worry about the fact that I didn't lift all of this because we go off the side on this guy 
so it shouldn't matter. We'll lay that down. Okay, so there's our base for our flower and our look. And now we're gonna grab these gorgeous flowers, or rather, greenery. And 216 is the color that we are using, this really neat kind of muted green. And the first leaf that we're gonna lift up is this guy right here. Coming right in behind. Lifting off those little extras. Now this is gonna go just right at the top here and kind of fill up this empty space a little bit. <clears throat> Pardon me. Nicely filled. And let's grab our gold, number 51. I'm just gonna carefully lay that down so I don't touch that flower above and then I don't have to worry about cleaning that off after I've lifted. You just have to worry about cleaning off underneath little trick for you. If you're just a little bit careful when you're putting down that polish, it can simplify things a little. Let's be a little bit mindful. Just gonna take my time, get this in place. Perfect. Okay, so let's clean this guy off. And then we are going to lift this guy right beside and use that same green. And that's what we're going to pop down at the bottom here. So again, just being careful where I put that down up above so that I don't touch anything that I'm going to have to clean up up there. And then when you look, I'll get over the white there so you can see. There's a lot less to clean up. I'm going to go place this now. Okay, so I want to place this in such a way that I still have a little portion of this to use elsewhere. So I'm pushing down and you can see that I've left that little tiny bit there. Now I'm going to take that and come up to the top of this pretty flower and pop it right there. So just a tiny little leaf poking up there that we just stole from this guy down here. So you're going to get more bang for your buck. And we're going to do exactly the same thing with our outline. Now I don't want quite as much of this tail of the stem here. So I'm just going to use my own nail to shorten that a bit. Now if I'm a little bit careful and mindful here. I shouldn't have to relift. Now, there's a little bit left, you can see down here. I don't want that ending up up top. So I just take that off, and you can take that off with, I wear artificial nails, so I can just wipe that off easily. But if you're not using artificial nails or wearing artificial nails and don't wanna get polish on your own thumb, then just use your sticky pad or your, or your scraper. And there we go. So it just kind of snakes across the nail here. Really, really pretty. You can completely customize where your greenery is gonna go and really make a beautiful, beautiful look. And there you go. So have some fun with your florals. Play with your, play with your greenery. And these ones are all clusters that come pre-done, but here we've customized our own to make it fit the nail perfectly. Well, thanks so much for watching this quick little video. We um, appreciate you watching. 
please go and sign up for our newsletter on our website, clearjellystamper.com, and we will see you in the next video.